everybody today on the channel I'm going to show you how to set up time machine backup and start backing up your Mac so this is kind of for you new Mac users out there a uh, little quick tip for you so time machine is what Apple calls their backup system so basically you can use this to automatically back up your Mac without even having to think about it so uh, what you need to do this is some sort of external storage now depending on how much your Mac has on it this can you know it can vary quite a bit I usually recommend that you get at least a terabyte of external storage you can go on Amazon you can buy any sort of external hard drive out there um, and use it it's really simple and it gives you a peace of mind that your computer is always backed up in case something happens. So to set this up, it's really super easy to do. So you may already have an icon in your Mac's menu bar for Time Machine. I'm not sure like if new Macs already have that up there. I'm pretty sure they do. But this is what your Time Machine uh, looks like. It's kind of a little arrow that kind of circles around. And you can click on that and then you can see different things right here and you can click on the open time machine settings or you can go into your system settings go to general and then go to time machine now yours might look a little bit different than mine here I already have a backup disk on here um, but what you'll probably see is this little blurb about time machine and then you'll probably see an option to either add a backup disk or you'll just click on this little plus icon right here and once you connect your external drive to your computer, it'll pop up right here. And then you can select it and use it for your time machine. Now, it's important to note that if you do get like a one terabyte external drive, for example, and you click on it right here, it will only use that drive for time machine. It'll format it a certain way. I think it does Apple file system. Um, but you'll only be able to use it for Time Machine Backup. So if you want to, you can do what I did here. And I have a video on the channel that shows you how to partition uh, a hard drive if you want to. But I have a two terabyte drive that I partitioned into two sections. So that way I can use a terabyte for Time Machine and then the other terabyte for whatever else I want. So uh, that's what we have here. So basically just click on your drive and hit the setup disk button and then it's going to bring up this right here. So you're going to have a few options uh, to choose from. So the first one is encrypt the backup. So uh, if you do that, you're going to need to input a password uh, in order to restore um, the backup basically. So if something happens or uh, you get a new computer and you want to uh, use the time machine drive to restore your Mac basically like set up your new Mac with your drive then you're going to need to input a password right here if you don't encrypt the backup then you don't have to have a password I would probably just for that extra step go ahead and input the password uh, in there you can then put a password hint uh, right there and then you can have disk usage limit. So if you want to, you can limit the space for the backups, but honestly, I would just use the entire uh, bit of it there. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and type in a password and then we'll hit done. So once you do that, it's gonna start preparing your drive. Like I said, it's gonna do a specific time machine format uh, for it. So go ahead and give it a moment to complete. Okay, so as you can see, it's went ahead and uh, done that and now it is already starting to back up and you can see over here on the desktop the time machine drive now has the time machine logo on it so you know that this is your dedicated time machine drive right there and it's as simple as that and then you can go ahead you can uh, rename this if you want to um, different things like that this is my old drive, so I'm just going to actually delete it. So we'll just get rid of it there. But yeah, it's as simple as that. And then on your desktop, what I would do, I would uh, go to it, and I would hit rename, and I would just put Time Machine. Time Machine or Time Machine uh, Backups, something like that. 
and it's as simple as that guys really easy um, and this is going to back up for you automatically um, every once in a while uh, so it does hourly backups and it keeps them uh, until the space fills up so uh, really simple easy and you won't even know it's happening because it does it all in the background and it even does it while uh, your computer is sleeping and things like that now once this is backed up what you can do is you can uh, go into time machine and you'll be able to go back and see like all these different snapshots and things so one helpful uh, thing with time machine is let's say uh, you delete a file on accident and you really needed that file and you're like how am I gonna get it back well you can go into time machine and you can go back as many days as you want and you can um, find it basically so uh, that's pretty cool but anyways guys it's a real quick tip for you today uh, showing you how to do that let me know what you guys uh, think about this if you need any assistance just leave it in the comments down below but anyways guys that's all I got for you today I appreciate you watching the channel as always and I'll catch you on the next video